हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर कोर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट थ्री आर्थमेटिक अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बाइनरी मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्कीम outline of today's lecture is sign multiplication sign means we are going to discuss two kind of operands either multiplication contains positive operand or negative operand we are going to discuss two kind of techniques one is sign extension technique of multiplication and then we shall discuss booth multiplication scheme so let us start to understand sign extension mechanism purposefully here i am taking negative operand so we are having multiplicand is negative and multiplier is positive so let us learn how exactly the sign extension method is used for multiplication so as you know if the multiplicand multiplier size is n p then the product must contain two n bits so if multiplier size is of 4 bits the product must hold 2 into 4 8 bits so here multiplier is of uh, 5 bits so our product must be of 10 bits so let us multiply the first bit of multiplier 1 to the multiplicand Minus thirty. So if I, whenever I multiply one by minus thirteen, I can simply write it down the whole five bits in the first partial product. As we already discussed, that final product must hold ten bits. The remaining bits are to be filled with most significant bit. of this partial product so most significant bit is 1 so the same one is now extended so one is extended five times now it becomes 10 bit again in the second iteration of multiplication this one is multiplied with multiplicand the same is to be written first bit is taken as a vacant all the bits are to be filled as a part of partial product and again the four fields are now again filled with the sign extension so one is again extended when we multiply with zero we are having the zero five times after that Three fields are to be filled with most significant bit, that is zero. So now, these three fields are now occupy zero bit. In the fourth iteration, we are going to multiply one to the multiplicand. So here we are. basically uh, writing 10011 as a part of partial product and the two bits are again filled with or extended with sign and the last bit is zero once we multiply by zero all bits must be the zero so 
this five bits are now zero and the one place is now vacant I have to extend with more physics you can read this is zero now let us make the addition so one is already written here only one in this first column only one bit is there so directly I can write it down the sum as a one one plus one zero and here carry is one now one plus one zero carries again one one plus one zero carries one one plus one two three so three can be written as one one so this one is taken as a part of sum and this one is taken as a carry okay next one plus one two three again one carry generated one one plus one two three again carry generated one plus one two three four so so four means what one zero zero so zero is written here and the subsequent two bits are taken as a carry for the left side columns 1 plus 1 0 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 times 1 so 1 will be written here and the carry is generated as a 1 so 1 plus 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 can be written as as 1 2 4 so 1 0 1 so 1 can be written here and remaining 2 bits are considered as a carry which are to be discarded because our size of product is what 10 bit so remaining whatever the carry generated here that is to be discarded so the final product is minus 143 Thank you for watching the video.